Good morning, fellow gardeners. This is Paul, and let's do a three-month update on the plant K. Now, if you remember, this was moved, or we moved this from our friend Danny's house. It was the biggest, oldest plant we've ever moved. And I've been keeping this burlap on it for the past three months on half of the plant, just to kind of get it acclimatized to this new environment and have it adapt and thrive here this season. So it's definitely the roots are taking off and you can see it has some flower buds. So really beautiful, stunning flower buds. Here's several more. Has over a dozen, maybe 20 actually, flower buds. And this variety I think is a Lisa seedling. Reminds me a lot of Lisa. So really exciting, we're gonna have some fruit, but it will require a cross-pollination. I would assume, most reds like this do. So it's really great to see this plant respond with a prolific amount of flower buds and some new growth here too. Here's the new growth. Now this plant is a really sun tolerant variety. However, there is some yellowing, probably from the stress and the move, and the fact that this branch was probably facing the other direction before on its old trellis setup. You can see there's a lot of blue and sun protecting on that side. So right now I'm just leaving it alone. I think it will do fine. We'll kind of prune this branch though. It's definitely not something we need to keep. And that's just fine because you can see there's plenty of new growth. In fact, I'll probably just do some pruning on this just because we'll probably respond with some more growth. Now this half, I was covering it with a piece of burlap as you saw because of some yellowing. But this is very minor. This plant is doing fine since the move. It's really been resilient. And I've been most impressed with this variety. Really sun tolerant, really tough and hardy. A little late to wake up compared to the other varieties, but that's okay. I still like K. Man, there's definitely some more flower buds in here. Look at that. So there you go. You can move a dragon fruit plant and it will produce flower buds the next season, especially if it's mature. And these plants are just so resilient and hardy. It's awesome to see that you can move something this big. This can produce fruit within a few months. So there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time. There's the update on K. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching.